Hello everyone, I am Anuj Nakade and welcome to Live Law. There is news from the Telangana High Court regarding horizontal reservations for transgender individuals. The story for this begins with Dr. Ruth John Paul, one of the first transgender doctors of Telangana. She finished her MBBS in 2017 and underwent a sexual reassignment procedure in 2022 and has been living as a transgender woman ever since. Then she appeared for PG NEET 2022 examination with the intention of further studying the medical sciences. However, at the time of counselling for both All India Quota and State Quota seats in November of 2022, it came to her notice that she had been placed under female category even though she had registered herself as belonging to the third gender. In the counselling for admissions, she was considered as a scheduled caste candidate only, ignoring her third gender status. She then made several representations before the authorities to avail her reservation as a transgender person in the postgraduate medical admissions in the state of Telangana as per the Supreme Court's order in the National Legal Services Authority of India versus Union of India and the provisions of the Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Act 2019. Our regular viewers might know that the Supreme Court recognized the right to self-identification of transgendered persons and other gender minorities in the National Legal Services Authority of India versus Union of India as the third gender. Dr. Ruth John Paul saw no decisions being taken by the authorities and filed a writ petition before the High Court of Telangana. The High Court directed the National Medical Council or NMC to consider her representations. In May, the NMC had passed an order holding that since the postgraduate medical education regulations of 2000 have no provision for reservation on basis of gender, representation of the petitioner could not be considered. Dr. Paul then approached the Telangana High Court again with a writ petition challenging this order of the National Medical Council. A two-judge bench of Chief Justice Ujjal Bhuyan and Justice N. Tukaramji heard the matter. The counsel for NMC submitted that the petitioner belongs to the SC category and has accordingly availed the reservation on account of the SC category. What the petitioner seeks is the reservation within the reservation as a member of the third gender. The objection was made by the counsel for the petitioner stating that the petitioner was grouped with female candidates against the judgment of the Supreme Court in Nalsa versus Union of India. She went on to advance the argument that the Supreme Court mandated that not only do members of the transgender community should be treated as a third gender, but also directed the central and state governments to treat them as socially and educationally backward classes of citizens. The Supreme Court further ordered the extension of all types of reservations for admission to educational institutions and public appointments to transgendered people. Following these submissions, the High Court directed the Council for NMC to obtain further instructions as to the marks secured by the last admitted candidate belonging to the SC and OBC categories in the NEET PG 2023 admissions. After seeking instructions, the Council for NMC submitted that persons belonging to the transgender community are provided reservation benefits, including postgraduate medical admission as persons belonging to socially and economically backward classes of citizens. She submitted that the benefit of reservations so provided has to be worked out by the central government as well as by the state government authorities while admitting students into different postgraduate courses. The Council for Health, Medical and Family Welfare Department submitted that as of today, no rules have been framed by the state of Telangana, providing for reservation to members belonging to the transgender community insofar admissions and public employment are concerned. It was also informed to the court that admission under NEET PG 2022 is concerned. The admissions were concluded in September of 2022 and therefore at this stage, the admission in the said course for the said year would not be possible. The petitioner then again appeared for NEET PG 2023 and secured 291 marks, this time out of 800. This time as well, her third gender category was overlooked and she was only considered in the scheduled caste category. So in the meantime, the Telangana High Court has directed the Medical Counseling Commission to extend the benefit of the third gender status to the scheduled caste status 
in NEET PG 2023. The court stated and I quote, in the meanwhile, as and when the counseling commences for NEET PG 2023, respondents, more particularly respondent number six, which is the medical counseling commission, shall extend the benefit of third gender status in addition to the petitioner's status as a scheduled caste candidate while considering her admission in any of the courses either under the central quota or under the state quota for NEET PG 2023 in a manner which is beneficial to the petitioner. The court has now listed the matter to 20th of July and asked the respondents to file a detailed affidavit about the state's reservations to third gendered persons and transgendered individuals. We should also add that two months ago, the application of the transgender rights activist Grace Banu in the Supreme Court sought to clarify the nature of the reservations granted to transgendered persons in the Nalsa judgment. The Supreme Court at this time had refused to make a clarification if the third gendered reservations are to be availed as other backward classes or as a horizontal reservation for a gender minority. We covered this proceeding on this very channel two months ago. We will leave a link down in the description to that video in case you would like to find out more about this issue. That's all we have for you in this video. If you'd like to know more about the case or read the order, please visit our website. If you found the video informative, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.